Hi everyone, Andrea from and Beyond and andbeyondimprov.com here to share with you a few thoughts about how to start feeling happy in your job right now if leaving really isn't an option or just isn't the option that you want to pursue. Idea number one. Ask for a project that would make you really happy. Just see what happens if you ask for a project that would really help you get your creative juices flowing. Um, and one of the things that I suggest is pitching it like, hey, I have some skills outside of um, my daily job description that are firmly within my wheelhouse and I think I could really be bringing more value. Always make it about the value you can be adding to the company or the team, not just about I'm unhappy and I'll leave if I can't do this. Two, determine and maintain boundaries that work for you. So in improv, we say bring a brick, not a cathedral. And that means it's only your job as an improviser to bring one idea and trust the rest of your scene partners to bring other stuff and you build whatever it's going to be together. There are lots of applications for this in work life, but one of them is that it is safe for you to do your part, not everyone's. So if part of the reason that you're unhappy is that you're starting to tell yourself that if you don't do something, then it won't get done or... You know, the only way to make sure something gets done right is to do it yourself. If you're leaning into that narrative, I'm going to invite you to cut it out because if you don't give your scene partners room to surprise you, then they never will. And you'll be stuck feeling like the weight of everything is on your shoulders when maybe it doesn't have to be. So implementing boundaries that work for you is really important. It's a good way to honor your teammates and a good way to help everyone see where there are opportunities for growth. Three, have an up-to-date resume on hand. Even if you're not looking actively, you never know when just the right opportunity might come along. Um, and even if you don't plan to give out the resume, taking some time to write out the things that you're good at and really acknowledge the way that the full scope of your professional story has helped equip you to do great things, that will build your confidence. Plus, you really never know when an awesome opportunity will come along and the ability to have a current up-to-date resume that really honors who you are and what you bring to the table will be just the thing to help you take advantage of that opportunity. Four, get some professional headshots. It's fun, it feels good, and then you'll really be putting your best foot forward on social media. By the way, I recommend having a good professional headshot on your LinkedIn and on your Facebook. You never know where a connection is going to come from. So even though LinkedIn is for professional things, I think it's good to have a good headshot on Facebook as well. Number five, thank the people around you for everything. If you look for things to be grateful for, you will find them. If you look for things to feel good about in your job, you will find them. And if you're feeling really resistant to hearing me say that, that's because you've created habits of noticing what's not good around you. And the more you practice noticing what is good and thanking the people for that stuff, the more you're going to notice more and more and you'll be encouraging that type of behavior even more. Number six, do something unexpected and kind for someone in your office. You never know the battles other people are fighting. Maybe the reason things feel a little bit tense or a little bit unfriendly, if that's the situation, is because someone needs a little bit of encouragement. So be the one to bring donuts. Be the one to do something kind and unexpected for someone. Bonus points if it's for someone you especially have trouble getting along with or relating to. Number seven, and this is so important, leave negative conversations right away. Leave those negative conversations around the water cooler or in the office kitchen. Do not respond to negative emails or negative messages. Leave those things and then go do something that inspires you. So I never like to encourage people to just stop doing one thing without having something to replace it. So leave those negative conversations and then go watch a, a TED Talk or go watch something that's encouraging online that's really feeding your curiosity instead of your anger. Interrupting anger with nothing can kind of just put your anger on hold or on pause. But interrupting your anger or your resentment or your judgment that you're feeling towards something that's going on and replacing it with something that feeds your curiosity, even if it's not something that's directly related to that thing, that is how you'll, that is how you'll start building some good momentum in a positive direction. And lastly, forgiveness. So this is the thing. If you really want to start feeling healthy and feeling good about what's happening around you, you have got to forgive the people that you work with. You've got to forgive bad bosses in the past that have kind of made you expect the other shoe to drop or made you expect for bad things to happen and kind of set your mental and emotional bar at a place where you're like, this is just as good as it can get.
forgive those people. Do the work to notice where your limiting beliefs are around your office, around believing certain people can never change or certain situations can never change. Um, Notice what those limiting beliefs are and then start looking for what is the origin of those beliefs. Forgive the people in your past and in your present and then forgive yourself. Forgive yourself if you've contributed to the culture that doesn't feel good. Forgive yourself if you feel like you didn't make the right choices in your career story and you've been blaming yourself and worrying that you picked the wrong career or the wrong job or the wrong city or whatever it is. Forgive yourself. In improv, we believe that there is always, always a way forward when you stay in the spirit of play is what we call it. So no matter what happens during an improv show, there is always a way forward. Even if something totally wrong, smoke detectors are going off, the audience is not connected with you, some confusing thing happened, an injury happened on stage with another improviser, no matter what it is, there is a way forward if you stay committed to the present moment and explore what's happening with curiosity instead of judgment. The easiest way to start accessing that curious part of your brain and that collaborative part of your brain is if you're not holding on to so much negativity and resentment. So you have to forgive the other people around you and you have to forgive yourself too. So if you can start doing any combination of those eight things, you will start feeling happier in your work right now, regardless of the circumstances, I guarantee it. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was helpful, um, hit the like button um, and do share it with someone. If you know that there's someone in your life that could use a little bit of encouragement at work, share it with them. And then leave in the comments a suggestion that you might have for how you can start cultivating happiness at work right now if you're not happy or if you're just feeling stressed out. You never know. That might be just the piece of advice that someone else needed to see and you could really encourage them a whole lot and help them shift their experience at work, which is awesome. So leave your comments. Share with a friend, hit the like button if this video was helpful to you. Um, And then in the comments, I've also included a link to where you can sign up for our weekly newsletter. So every week we send out notes of mindful improv encouragement where there's tips like this for cultivating peace, joy, and freedom in your life and in your career. And then we also include updates on what's happening at and beyond. Uh, If we have live events coming up or new programs that we're launching, you can stay up to date on the latest news from us. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.